using a new slide deck, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to make it full screen. Uh, so, uh, hi, my name is Kai Hendry. You got you got to track me with that camera. I'm over here now. Uh, oh, still. So, um, you you guys all run PHP on your hosts and whatnot. What version of a, a PHP do you run? Do you, you you know what it is? Six different versions on six different servers. <laughs> I think that's a good example of what a bloody nightmare it is. Um, and, and this is the problem I have too. And anyone who hosts PHP apps, you must be aware that, you're, that probably one of your instances is running maybe a vulnerable version of PHP. And that is a terrible situation. I've, and I've known some big corporates to like run some sort of like clever firewall before you hit the PHP to sort of like filter out all the sort of uh, attacks on that old version of PHP, but still, that's you know, that's 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 not a very performant way of uh, going about things. So, my browser that I'm running this presentation from, you can you can view it yourself on talks.webconverger. Uh, well, never mind. Uh, the browser nowadays that I'm viewing this presentation from that updates itself updates, you know, a reboot machine, it's got the latest version of Firefox or the latest version of uh, Chrome, but PHP doesn't. So evergreen means that it keeps up to date. I think that's like a newish sort of industry term. Did you guys know what evergreen was? Did anyone know what it was? Yeah, you would think it would be something to do with trees, but unfortunately that term has been hijacked. So basically, what I want to talk to you guys about is how the hell do we keep our PHP instances up to date? Because that's my problem, it's your problem. I actually don't have the solution. I'm just going to talk about the problem. <laughs> Sorry. I have screwed up, haven't I? Uh, you can go to sleep now. Uh, well, well um, I just wanted to obviously say that PHP uh, historically has had uh, Linux, uh, Apache, and MySQL as as the little compatriots, I guess your. I mean, do you guys run MySQL or what do you use? Oracle or some horrible database? Does anyone is anyone crazy like me that runs everything off like a file system using Git <laughs> or use yeah, just S3 crazy. or something like that? You're crazy. I'm so crazy, and I tell you what, my thing will speed outspeed your your app by a long way. Um, and Apache, probably most people probably have switched to Nginx. Or how many people? He, how many people are using Apache? How many people are using Nginx? Okay, I'm gonna say half, half. Whatever. Should be using S3. No, I'm joking. Um, uh, okay, that's boring. So let's talk historically. Back in the good old days, in 2005, when I was just 15 years of age, I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> I'm older right now. Back in the good old days, can you remember those days when we had DreamHost? DreamHost was such a wonderful host because they were cheap and you could just upload your PHP files there and it would just work and they even threw in a database and they had this light, lovely UI which got clunky and clunky over time. And the brilliant, brilliant, brilliant thing about this is that they updated PHP. Oh yeah, I don't have to do it, they do it. So it's actually really easy. I mean, I, I still have some old PHP apps hosted on DreamHost for about 10 years. They just sit there, <coughs> they are up, they are working, and they are running with the latest PHP. All good and well. That's how it used to work, for the most part. Maybe, I mean, who, who still uses the shared hosting approach to get their PHP apps live? Come on, there must be some idiot. No, no, no. It's actually, to be honest, this is the best way to do it, in my opinion, because the PHP, the, the whole thing is maintained. I mean, I'm, I mean I've, got hundred, I've got loads of little apps. This is actually the best. And now we're going to go freaking downhill, guys. Come with me to the journey of horribleness that we are today. Today, we have these things called virtual private servers. Awesome! I can't put it on the server now! It's brilliant, it's brilliant, it's brilliant. And it only cost me $10 a month with DigitalOcean. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! I'll install Debian. I don't know what the F I'm doing, I'm just going to install Ubuntu. And then people install Ubuntu Debian, and then they, they never ever update it. 
And even those, even those the pros like myself, I'm a pro, even I don't even log into my server and do a disk upgrade from time to time. So what we're left with is like a vulnerable, out-of-date PHP instance. It's a mess, and this is what most people are probably doing. Who uses a VPS? Do you actually upgrade it? It's a disaster, is there? And, 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 in, and it's not just that it's not maintained, it's not, someone's not looking after it anymore. It's just, that's just PHP. There's a raft of other tools on that VPS that's probably not maintained. And, you know, who, who, who maintains your firewall? Do you probably even, don't even bother for the most part? I mean, it's kind of a crappy situation that we are in today. <clears throat> but it's going to get worse. Oh, yes. It's going to get worse. Welcome to the cloud. <laughs> oh, my God. Now we have VPS. We have the simple solution. We have the, oh god, it's getting bad now with the VPS, and now we have the cloud. The cloud is expletive, expletive, ton of expletive complexity. It is, it is crazy what the cloud is typically required of, of, of a developer. You're supposed to now have this scalability mindset. You're, you're supposed to have your data in databases that can easily replicate. You, you're supposed to now use a, a load balancer. You're supposed to design your apps so that they can be easily destroyed and brought up again. You're now supposed to think about different sort of uh, file systems, like you have to maybe if you use Docker. And um, you, well, there's some good things and there's some bad things, but for the majority, I would like to argue that this is extremely complex. Does it solve the problem of keeping your PHP app, or your PHP interpreter, or whatever, PHP runtime, sorry, <coughs> Does it solve the PHP runtime up to date problem? Yes. How? Because you usually you can just kill your instances in the, and the reprovision that. But that's that's a bit lame. So oh, I want to update to the new PHP. So I need to to tear down all my instances and bring them back up again. Yeah. That sucks though, and it's really really complex to keep uh, them all going. You automate that. That's what Jeff and, and then that's another thing you have to worry. Oh, I have to use you have to use some Chef Ansible sort of automation thing. So, so like, just imagine if you just imagine if you're like, just just imagine, just imagine that you just have a simple form and you're just submitting that form and it's it's sending a mail that you know you're just collecting people's email addresses. Oh my God! If you had to create something like this. Just for, to collect uh, email addresses, uh, you know, obviously people just end up using Google Forms or something stupid, but... <laughs> no, this is not a great solution for um, keeping everything up to date. I, I, I hate it personally. Um, I find it very, very complex to do that. I mean, how do you, how do you update your PHP? How do you, do you just use a, like a Docker? A Docker image with up-to-date PHP, or do you like you build everything from scratch? Well, I, it, it it depends on the setup, but um. How do you make sure your PHP is up to date? I don't. No, I, as I said, you you reprovision the, the the stuff once in a while, and uh, <coughs> oh, I need your distro is up to date. So. Where, where the cups? I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can I just drink out of this? The version that we have. Every quarter somebody wakes up and says, you know what, we need to upgrade our PHP and the other packages. So we basically restart from a base AMI, do the updates, hope that the application works, it doesn't <laughs> ever. So then we say, you know what, we'll put it into the pipeline and six weeks later somebody gets time, redoes the entire testing, and then if it all works, then we just print that image into production. Oh, so you, 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 set it, you build an image, you test it, make sure it works, and then you roll into production. That, that is the typical cloud way, I guess, of doing it. But, you know, if you're just updating PHP, that is crazy! Come on! That is nuts! It's so heavyweight what the processes have become in this new found age that we live in. So, okay, I'm going, I'm, I'm ranting here, but let's think about what Okay, sorry. So, how do we solve this problem? Well, I'm, 
I, I list some points which I think is important. <coughs> I would like to update my, my container, my, my instance of PHP. I would like to update it and have no downtime. And that's quite easily possible with PHP because PHP usually runs in like fast CGI. You know, it answers a request. There's about eight, eight PHP instances running in fast CGI or something like that. It answers, and it answers the, 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 each process ha handles a request. And once it's done the request, then the process can die and, and start again or something like that. So it should be easy to upgrade PHP, but obviously there's a whole lot of other stuff. So I, w I would personally like it to, to upgrade on the same machine easily. I also would like diffs everywhere on my system. If PHP updates, I want to see the binary. I want to see, like, you know, I, I, I do get status. I want to see that the PHP binary changed. I want to see the SHA-1 sum. I want to see the, the version. Um, and, and, and the same goes with, with other stuff that's not PHP. I mean, I don't know about you. I didn't say why I use PHP. I use PHP largely because it's like a single binary, pretty much. You know, if you're using some, if you're using like Node.js, you have a shit, shit expletive ton of dependencies. With PHP, it's like one binary. Sweet! Unfortunately, we effed that up somehow. Um, <clears throat> another thing I want, I just want to run it off one instance. I don't want to have a cluster of five freaking containers and, and swap them out and test them and things. I think that's nuts. I just want one container and I, and I want uh, good backups of that data. And another thing that we need nowadays is like easy setup of, of <coughs> SMTP. Usually that's a bloody nightmare. You know, setting up SES, come on, that takes a whole day. A whole day, come on. Let's, I'll shoot someone if it's all, if, if, you, if 10 years ago, if a developer, developer came to me, oh, I just set up email today. What, are you a fucking loser? It took you all day to do that? It just worked before. It just worked. And obviously, we need cool things nowadays, like monitoring your 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 app is actually up and functioning. And 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 obviously, I want to maintain a low barrier to entry. The old Dreamhost days, you just uploaded your PHP file. Woohoo! I got an app. Check this out, guys. Look at this link. Now now we're expected to do this. Holy moly! No ways. No ways. And obviously, some good logging would be good. Um, so yeah, I've, I've just gone crazy in front of you guys. Well just trying to just trying to show you that we are in a bad, bad place right now. And really, I want these problems to be solved. In my, I, I run like four or five PHP servers around the world. It's like it annoys the hell out of me that we we, we I'm expected to do this. No, thank you. I want something simple. I want something like this. Actually, I want to go back to the old days. But I mean, what are the problems of this solution is obviously you don't quite have root and you might be limited in some way or form. But to be honest, and also finding good PHP hosting, who the hell does that in this country? Silence. I'm honestly thinking of setting up my own PHP host and saying, look, Instead of using a, a maintaining your own operating system, which you're probably going to f it up, use my host, and I promise to keep it updated for you. And I'll even make sure mail works without you spending a day configuring it. So, I hope you have the same frustrations as I do, because you should be worried. You should be frustrated, because if if you're not, then you're probably hosting some crapware that can easily be hacked. <coughs> How many security issues have actually come up in, in PHP itself? Uh, quite a few. I don't know when the last remote one was. There's, there's so many PHP. I mean, it's, it's not just, uh, well, yeah, obviously it's the scripts that are the worst things. <laughs> but I mean, there has been, it's not a, it's not a big deal. I mean, there, ha there's, there's been, there has been a past security thing, but you know, it's just like, and you, you can keep it up to date using your distro, if you're using distro bundle PHP. Distro bundle, what's that? I mean, if you're using... If like you're using upgrade or something, or Pac-Man. Yeah, but no one does that. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I do it, and I'm like, I'm yeah, freaking right. lazy about it. I, I notice other people, it's like, what freaking old version of PHP are you running there, dude? Yeah. 
Even even then, the aptitude or yum yum packages are usually like one version behind. It's, it's not. Yeah. Then again, I must say the new versions of P new versions of PHP do suck. I mean, object oriented programming. Who needs that crap? <laughs> Honestly. Um, so. Yeah, I I would like okay, I mean like if you if someone said to me, Oh Kai, I have the same problem as you I can't sleep at night I'll say to you, maybe we can build a solution, maybe we can come, we can think and, and, and reduce complexity. Because that's what a good the difference between a good programmer and a bad programmer, a bad programmer adds complexity. A good pro, a good programmer reduces complexity. That's what you always gotta remember. Yeah. And right now, it's ooh. But shouldn't the uh, programmer not have to worry about all these things? Well, as a programmer, you kind of need to worry about it because that's the environment you got to work in. <coughs> I mean, I care about my environment. It's like you know, it's like I go to a, f a, f a fancy hipster coffee place because I like the environment. Don't want to don't want to sit on a concrete floor. I use uh, Google App Engine and it gives most of these stuff like. For me, I don't have to worry about. It does, you know, but App Engine doesn't have a host in Singapore, or does it? Dude, if you don't have your host in Singapore, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I assuming you have stuff. Singaporean customers. Beanstalk, yeah. then. <laughs> elastic. What do you mean, Elastic, elastic Beanstalk? beanstalk yeah. Yeah. Singapore region. Yeah, okay, yeah. but does Elastic Beanstalk? Okay, you choose like an app, like PHP app, and then you do your yeah, thing. You, you, I think you write a configuration, right? You have to ask him, he's the expert. You write a configuration file in, uh, put it in your, in your And app. if you are using Amazon AMIs, default AMIs, they update automatically. Do that? Yeah. The well, I use the Amazon AMI, you don't, it no. doesn't update. The last Beanstalk is okay for, like, sort of, like, you don't have to control virtual hosts and things like that. If you want to control virtual host, you end up using your own AMI, in which case you have the same problem. Yeah. Which is that you've got to keep your AMI update. Yeah, if you're using custom AMI, custom uh, installation, then you have to worry about that. So you yeah, had your question, your hand up. Security, uh, the main concern about keeping uh, the PHP on, on defense, or uh, I'm trying to understand why you're so good. Uh, well, <laughs> I, why am I going to Are there other reasons for wanting to keep no, you, uh, the PHP? Well, it's 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 important just to be on the st the latest stable version. Yes, for security issues mainly, I guess, and also just come on. I can't think of the reasons, but there are probably other ones. <laughs> well, if I have an application that runs perfectly well on five and four or something, you know, and it's running for years, you know, what's what's the motivation for me to keep updating? Well, if you don't keep up to date, then one day there might be a security issue. And your app works great on 5.4, and it doesn't on 6, and it sure as hell won't, or, or something on 7. You need to keep. It's just. It's just. It's just being sensible. It's like. It's like you could probably apply the same argument to instant, uh, to browsers. It's like, I have Internet Explorer 6. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> I'm browsing the web, guys. It's fast and everything. Yes, it's, 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 <coughs> I, I think one of the reasons to keep updated with PHP is at least between 5.3, 5.4, 5.5. The performance improvements are very huge. So, from my point is, I have a perfectly good application uh, running well, which is the purpose on 5.4. Mm -hmm. okay. My ASL is the purpose the last few years. And I mean, is 5.4 even, is, uh, is that a vulnerable one? or is uh, that It's a security fix only currently. Is that a security fix? It's security fix only. So, he's safe? <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's, they will it fix it only if there is only a security issue. <laughs> Other than they, so there is so nothing. So if, yeah. if you are at that level, where you just have a little time, fix it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that, that you can apply the same argument to Internet Explorer. Yeah, I mean, if it fits you well, I mean, uh, no, that's no. different too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if your if your application works on five point four, you get security updates. You can leave it. I mean, it's the application is not going to change. And okay, I suppose so. I suppose so. So, are you using like Debian stable? Or how do you lock into that version? You just do, but like this, you must have a whole bunch of your other parts of your system that are, are potentially vulnerable if you don't upgrade the whole system, or you just don't upgrade PHP. I you don't upgrade anything. You just set a firewall. Uh, okay, that is one approach. It probably has some merits because a it's effing easy, but b. It's, it's going to be a large corporate entity like PayPal or you know, I work at a company called Google. And we have all these corporate internal applications which are completely shitty, and I'm guessing that they have done something like you know built it in 2006 or something for Internet Explorer 6, I guess. 
it just runs and I, they don't want to touch it. That's a bad attitude. You've got to be more proactive. And there are reasons which I can't think of right now. <laughs> yes? Yeah. No, I have a question. I moved all my production site from share hosting to the... Uh oh, you yeah, went from I the, the, the good. You went from the good. The yeah, good. Yeah, I was happy with the shadow state, but I moved to all my VPS oh, and let the hallway because Christ. one day the share hosting the company called me and then they suspend all my account because all my site because my PHP script uh, usage exists uh, at, uh, like twenty percent of CPU utilization. So like, well, see, that caused my business. Then I lent all the hardware and I set up a VPS, <coughs> but. I don't need to worry with my VPS. Yes, of course, PHP will not function will not be upgraded. But I, at least, I don't need to worry that <coughs> someone got control to all my production. Which I guess there's better there's better security isolation in VPS. But the yep. and containers. I agree with you. I agree with you. I mean, shared hosting had problems. Like with Dream, I was with Dream, with shared hosting until you know that day arrived. Yeah, the, the, with DreamHost, like for example, if I had a vulnerable app running on my home directory, WS yep. dot something something, and someone actually managed to hack it, then they can get into my home directory, which was a bit stupid. Uh, but I think they changed that. But I, I, but is your VPS up to date? I mean, you you are very happy with your VPS? No, not at all with like, the Ocean. because the Ocean also because they they have VPS quite cheap. I was happy, but one day they told me that. Uh, my VPS, uh, like uh, because of security, my B VPS uh, now what they suspect. Then they suspect my VPS. What? <laughs> oh well. Um, so like, then I scared. Then now I moved all to Amazon. Then so far. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to get. I don't want to talk them. about VPS hosting stories. I want to just concentrate on on the how to keep PHP up to date. Sensibly, I don't okay. think the VPS. I mean, your PHP is it? Do you know what version you're running? Do you have an old version? Mostly, like last time is. Uh, I normally I don't care about version to be honest. Like whatever the version I use in development, I use the same version in production because this is a version that yeah, that makes well. sense. Until I tested all my version with a new version, then I can migrate. But mostly, like somehow you are right that of course that one. Time to perform that my version is already. Yeah, like and it's I not just PHP. There's other bits and bobs <coughs> to your system, like I don't know, the kernel and the web server and all that other stuff that needs to be. I'm not sure about the other, but for me, the, as long as my, you know, code is functioning and it is working, I really don't want to touch. I'm not too sure about this. This whole. Fun. I mean. I prefer to be bleeding edge. Maybe that's oh, keep on the what, what's a bleeding edge? Not, bleeding edge is not the right term. It's called the rolling. I prefer to be on the rolling release edge. Yeah. When you freeze, Unless, I, yeah, I, I do I've done that for years, freeze. and I just don't like it. It's just yeah, it's always some fight. huge jump that you need to make I sooner or later. Really if the site is always uh, you know active and accurate, but sometimes like we got some small application for some customer. I guess someone is happy with what they have right now, and they don't want to dash, and they don't want uh Yeah, and then you get. Also. I don't like this. Every every web app, every app. I mean, anyone who knows software, you know, you got to touch it all the time. You got to massage it. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. You, otherwise, it is crapware. I don't want to make crapware. I don't want to maintain crapware. I don't want to work with crapware. So it's. That's the beauty. You don't have to maintain it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, when you hand it off, they're not going to maintain it. Any other questions? Okay, I think the PHP 7 guy, you're in. Yeah. <laughs> what okay. glorious bloatware are you going to come up with next? All right. Thank you, Kai.